You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you don't know. Your boy Brutal him on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So we're gonna get straight into the news. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're making a push for that 200k. It's on the way. Now, your nose is back in the feed again, man. And he's talking that shit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Right now, he's calling out all these calm players and he is speaking down to them. And the weird thing about Joe Nose is he's a casual, not to say he's not good. People always mistake the word casual for being not good. No, that means he never really took the game that serious outside of content creating. And he just decided now, you know what, let me dabble in some pro -am and get in these leagues and these tournaments for a little bit. <laughs> With a strategy that a lot of comp, quote unquote, players been talking trash about for years. Now he took his casual strategy, which is the five out, and been dominating ever since. So let's check out this clip of him talking that ish, <laughs> and I'm gonna give you all my thoughts. And I think Joe knows plays chess, y'all. I'm gonna explain to y'all why he plays chess. Let's check this clip out. Don't you, where the f do you rank Fitty Clip? Listen, I listen. I don't do the rankings. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my job. I don't. I don't do the rankings. All I'm gonna say oh is the motherfucker was t after playing me in a scrim with our first ever time playing with that five motherfuckers talking about Joe no stopper because he held me to 24 points per game. Well, I just averaged 40 for the money in the third biggest league. Oh, well, the third biggest, but it's okay because I won the first two biggest. But this is the third biggest, and I played you and I averaged 40. So never, ever say Joe no stopper again, okay? All the mother that say that shit, you cannot guard me one-on-one -on -one. send f help because you need it okay that's that's not just for him it's for every other lock send f help no ego no bullshit y'all know that's the truth team defense is the only way to box that shit so stop talking about oh joe no stopper the mother they let him die in this series and we averaged 40 they almost had it they almost had it because green light was smacking three after three but as soon as bauer reeled that shit the f oh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. he can't be disrespecting y'all like this lockdown your comp locks got Joe talking like this. Now this is where I believe he's playing chess. I think Joe knows he's always a few steps ahead. What he's doing here, he's challenging the lockdown because he knows the way you do not beat a five out is to let the lockdown die. That's when a five out is the most effective. The way you beat five out is to be very quick on your pinches and rotations. To even stop, especially you playing against a rim running five out player, I would know because that's how I've been playing for the past how many years and been highly criticized for playing that style because I think it's the most simplest way to, you know, pick out the weak link to uh, the team. I mean, the weak link defensively. I think it's the simplest way of five out to be honest with y'all. So I'm always like, yo, I need some shooters and I'll play with my rim runner who could shoot if they step back. And that's how I've been playing for years. It's been a strategy that people been bashing for years, but to me, it's just been the simplest and easiest and best way to play. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, okay? Now, I might not have it down like him because he's always running with some killers as well. <laughs> They could play great lockdown defense and light you up if you just look in his direction. But the best way to beat the five out is team defense. Pinching, rotating, you got to be on point. You cannot slip, especially if you play with a high IQ guard. So I think he's planting here in these lockdowns. They, the lockdowns going to take that. They're going to take it to the, like, nah, bro, he's talking about us. No, I'm going to create me a, a Joe No Stopper. I won't create me one. And I'm gonna be the lockdown to talk that. Nah, he is planting that seed in your head. Don't fall for it. He is taking a few moves ahead. He's thinking about his future. 
tournament that he's gonna win because he knows some of y'all gonna take what he's saying here <laughs> to the chest, to the head, and then y'all will come out and pretty much you gonna say, nah, I don't need your help, and he gonna continue to bust that ass. <laughs> But let's continue on. Sorry for that long break. Let's continue Plug in on. a little bit. Y'all see what happens. Reverse sweep. Biggest league on the f***ing game, WR champions. Second biggest league on the game, Hoff champions. Third biggest league on the game, MPBA champions. In the crossplay era, never been done before. <laughs> Obviously, because crossplay just came out this, time, you know, this, this year. But still. Hey, I told you we're going to start a narrative. We're going to start the dialogue. First team in the crossplay era to hold all three of them things at the same time. I'm like 2011 Lionel Messi holding the mother treble with Pep Guardiola and mother Xavi and Iniesta and Puyo and Pete. You know what I'm saying? We got the mother treble. We got all three of them things right here. Prime Messi. <laughs> I'm telling y'all he's playing chess. Don't fall for it, God players. But y'all gotta have some pride at the end of the day. Somebody gotta shut your nose up, okay? Somebody, at some point. Or else I'm looking at y'all comp players a little bit different, boy. I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front with y'all. A lot of y'all should come with your boy, Bruce, who is a casual, okay? A lot of y'all need to stop taking the game that serious. Y'all need to stop because clearly it ain't working out for you if this casual content creator that decide to go comp with a casual strategy and dominate with a strategy that y'all hated on for years. That's all I gotta say. Now, I saw Black Frank White. They all know Black Frank White. He's one of the main people that trying and he's trying his best in terms of making NBA 2K League successful. He's one of the people behind the scenes that does a lot of stuff, man. I ain't gonna lie, shout out to him. He's a real good dude. Now he posted this tweet saying, which team has had the greatest program run? <laughs> and he put RDG, he put self-taught, put Black Market, and he put Breakout, of course, Black Market, who is the hottest team right now in the 2K community. Okay, I don't care about pre-draft, I don't care about post-draft. They're the hottest team right now. Is dominating statistically with 72.1%. Now, second place, 11.3%, that's RDG. Third place is Breakout with 10.8%. And last but not least, is Self-Taught with 5.7%. Now, of course, you know some people had to chime in. Now, Legacy Nap says Black Market being on here is just disrespectful. They're playing post draft against no consistent competition. <laughs> no, no, Black One, of course. Black Frank White responds, say, hey, oh, I don't make the rules. I'm going by the sentiment in Pro Am right now. Okay, stop hating my G. Now, Cash Cardi said, yo, I don't think Black Market competes. With the 2K21, 2K22 post draft teams, lol. And of course, Frank White said, interesting. Street said, Black Market don't even play pre draft. This is nasty work. And you know why? Because the game just dropped, man. Joe Dozzi trying to do fresh content. He ain't going straight to Pro Am. Hell no, nah, that's not where the money is at. <laughs> Let's continue on. Now, T said, What the hell is Black Market? It's Breakout or RGD. Ain't nobody care about what you gotta say. <laughs> now, um, TM Curry is back. He said black market is good, but the fact that they are winning this poll shows who plays when it matters. And Joe Norris responded to this tweet right here. And Joe Norris is trying to drop them some gems right here. I wonder if they're going to listen. I've been trying to tell them this for the past few years. Trust me, when I spoke about program, I'm talking about the way they're always a little uppity and look down on everybody. The way they're not really marketing themselves in a positive way. And Joe knows tweeted this out, he said this. He said, if you want to talk about what matters, getting people to want to watch is what matters. That translates to everyone involved eating and potentially turning a small percentage of the 2K community into a much larger percentage, which ultimately helps everyone. You comp players have failed to see the bigger picture for years and years. And it looks like you are continuing to fail to see it. Just my opinion. 
I wonder if they're gonna look at this as a positive in a positive light because a lot of people tend to be offended when somebody's trying to give them some gems. They've been doing to you, they've been doing that to your boy for years because I've always watched the comp scene and I've seen a huge issue with the comp scene. One of the biggest issue was everybody playing the same exact way because they see a certain team being successful, which has been the pick and roll 300 way has been working for years. And now Joe knows come on the scene with a, a strategy that they said will never work. I've heard it. They said the five out will never work against calm players. And it's working. But the thing is, someone just wasn't brave enough on the comp scene to step outside of the norm to see if it will actually work. Guess what else might work? Who knows? You might see somebody coming out with something completely different that no one else haven't tried. But the weird thing about this 5 out is been in the 2K community forever. But I've heard it year after year. But that ain't gonna work, bro, against comp players. We gonna double that. We gonna switch that. Yeah, but if you get a good passer with high IQ and somebody who knows how to rim run, it's gonna be a problem. Trust me. <laughs> Joe knows is not doing anything here that's really unique. But the thing is, the way it's exposing these comp players is so funny to me. I love it. Keep doing your thing, Joe knows. Keep doing your thing. Ah, it's, it's entertaining for me. Let me know your thoughts. And they got to work on how they look down on other people, bro. You can't want your viewers or you can't want to attract viewers if you look at everybody and so and call everybody Timmy with two thumbs trash. This casual trash. These are the casuals that you want to support you. People keep asking, bro, why you keep labeling yourself casual? You no, I am a casual. Don't not call me a sweat. Do not call me calm. I do not want no part of it. I'm good. I'm going to stay a casual and continue to play with my subs because these are my supporters. These are the people who view my content. These are the people who views my videos. So how can I disrespect or separate myself from the people that mess with me? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Why would I speak down on the people who are just like me? The only difference is I've got more time to put into the game, which will definitely separate my skill gap a little bit. But why should I look down on these people who don't have that much time to put into the game to be as good? It doesn't make any sense. But they speak, oh, Timmy with two thumbs, trash, this, that, how y'all this, that, and the game is being created for casuals, y'all trash. Like, bro, like, calm down, my G, calm down. But one day y'all gonna get it. One day. <laughs> Why Jonos keep busting that ass with five out? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm done. I've been talking too much. Let me know what y'all think about the video. How blessed one till next time. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace. Casual, we out there winning, man. We out there winning. <laughs> and y'all wonder why everybody was so excited to see that real playstyle come back. Y'all was wondering why, man. Anyways, y'all.